Hey guys, this is Chris with 414 Comics and I first of all must apologize to everyone who subscribed. Uh, I wasn't able to get churn out videos as I wanted but you know this school year my students have been driving me up the wall and it's been a really difficult year overall so all my focus has been at work but now with Comic Con C2E2 coming up this weekend and spring break just around the corner i thought this is a good time to to try to do more videos this time around compared to the, the the brief hiatus that i took um in making one video from another uh first of all i just want to you know tell everyone thanks for those who subscribed i appreciate it and those who liked the video again uh, i appreciate that also it goes a long way at least for me uh, I'm not looking for a million likes. Uh, I mean, that would be great, but, you know, uh, just a little bit of support goes a long way. Uh, what you see up here, you know, I'll be talking about uh, C2E2. And let me just tell you right now that I will be uh, doing a live recording of CG uh, CGC on-site grading. Uh, I'll be showing you the books that I'll be gra uh, having graded this weekend at on-site grading and the grades that I expect to get and hopefully all is good because this will be my sixth year in a row uh, utilizing a uh, fifth year in a row I mean sorry uh, utilizing CGC's on-site grading uh, system uh, so first of all right off the bat as you can see up on the screen we have hell arisen number three I don't know if you had the same drama I had in my area here in Milwaukee but let me tell you, all my co local comic shops sold out. I had two comic shops that didn't even put any out for sale. And they only had them for, you know, their customers who had um, the pull list. Which, uh, to be honest, I think that's a little bit of BS. Uh, because I believe that a lot of these, uh, these shops actually kept a lot of these copies to put them up on eBay. Or to actually uh, submit them to CGC and triple the value i mean it is what it is right i mean we live in a flipper's paradise uh i really don't have any opinion on that um i was able to i was lucky enough uh one of my local comic shops uh he always hooks me up when i really need it and he was able to give me one copy which you see up here and it's this is go this will be the one that'll be going to cgc on-site grading uh and right now, I'll be giving you my estimates, what I expect, because I pressed uh, half of these books. And even some of these modern books, I gave them a, a little bit of a press because some of them have a little bit of waviness. So if you do have a press at home, it I mean, it will take you no time to to just, don't, you know, triple, you know, just make sure that you're going for that 9-8 and you don't want the waviness of these you know these new comics affecting the grade as you can see i got hell risen number three i'll be submitting that one and uh, with other thousands of people who will probably have a copy also uh for submissions i'm expecting a a, a nine eight you know flat out a nine eight on this copy i'll be pressing this one probably uh to uh tonight having it ready for the next day uh, 24 hours and I'll be making my way, like I said before, to Chicago for C2E2. So that's book number one I'm taking. Uh, book number two, uh, I lucked out on these. Uh, my wife also was able to help me out with some of going to some of the others, other comic shops. And I was able to get uh, and grab some of these. Uh, these are also going to be submitted for CGC on-site grading. Uh, the one thing is that my, my wife said, well, if I'm going to get you these copies, I'm keeping one for myself. And I said, you go for it. You go for it. I mean, you, you paid for it. Uh, you know, she wants to buy her, you know, she just started out on eBay and she wants to, you know, more or less she sees the profit I've been making, you know, off of baseball cards and comic books and other things. And, you know, I have a good eye for all this. Uh, so, uh, the one on the far left, I think I labeled them to make sure uh, that's her copy. But these are also four copies that I'll be submitting at C2E2 uh, on-site grading. And I'm expecting a 9-8 on each and every one of them. I was going to have these signed by Tony Daniel, 
James Tinney in the fourth, and this one by Matina. But upon seeing how much they charge for witness signatures, uh, I really don't think uh, it's worth it. So I'm just gonna have them. I'm just gonna leave them raw and just su submit as is. Uh, because I know a lot of these artists are they get tired and again I'll be looking to see during like in some of those lines and see how many people have a Hell Risen or Batman 89 for James Tinian to sign uh, One of my copies that I've had for a very long time are my uh, two of my GI Joes as you can see I have the uh, The direct edition and the new stand edition. I had these pressed myself and to be honest, I am looking for a 9.4 and a 9.6, respectively. Um, if I get 9.6 on both of them, I mean, I'll be happier than a dog with two tails. Uh, or if I get 9.4s on both, you know, it is what it is. But uh, I should not get anything lower than a 9.4. Uh, they're really beautiful copies. I, again, they've had them for for over six and seven years. And I I think now is it? Now I decided to just submit them for grading. This one I've had for close to two years and I've been debating if I should or shouldn't. Uh, this one I didn't get pressed myself. Uh, I had a friend do it for me before I brought my I bought my press. Uh, so this one uh, I'm, I'm hoping for a 9-4. Um, again, there is a lot of leadway here. I mean, I, I could be surprised. I could be shocked. But I've looked at the, I looked at this book from every angle and I don't really see any reason as to why it shouldn't obtain a at least a 9.4 so you know I'm crossing my fingers with that or you know worst case scenario a 9.2 this one I happened to stumble upon uh, you know across this copy first print at a half price book but uh, half price books it cost me uh, $12 and this book was in pristine conditions. I mean, whoever left this copy, I mean, wow. I mean, I got, I, you know, I pressed it myself just to make sure. I mean, this book is flawless. I mean, this should be a slam dunk 9-8. But again, you never know. And you don't know who's grading your book. They could be having a good day or a bad day. So we're, I'm in the hope that they're having a good day. And... These two copies, which let me tell you, uh, these two I actually found at a half price books uh, six months before I found the Batman for a dollar each. Yep, a dollar each. Um, I had them pressed myself, and I'm hoping straight up for a 9 8 on both of them. I mean, they're beautiful copies, and I'm hoping for a 9 8 on both of them. And finally, a copy that I've been hoarding for ever since it came out, and that is Seven to Eternity Cover 1D, the blank variant. If you look on, uh, on sold listings, uh, and it's a shame I didn't, I didn't screenshot this and save it for future reference, but there was one, uh, a 9.8 that sold uh, for close to, I think it was $450. They average right now around $260 to $300, but there are only eight, eight copies in existence on the CGC um, census at a 9.8, only eight. So these are really rare um, and they're pretty hard to come by in 9.8s and not a lot of people have them graded overall. And this is a good book that I decided to just keep as is. No signatures, no sketches. I'm just going to have it graded. And this one should be a 9.8, straight up, 9.8. Uh, and this is what a book I'll be holding on to because you never know. I mean, with all, all these these movies and books and being optioned, the comic books, graphic novels, whatever, whatnot. I mean, you never know. And this could be a, a, a comic book that could be optioned. And this book could skyrocket. And like I said, the CGC census is, is really, really limited on this one. Now I want to go back to this book again. And this is something, just a, a PSA um, to everyone out there. And I think it's becoming a cliche in the comic world. I think that everyone should just 
uh, ignore this book for a while. I mean, prices will die down. Uh, I know I've compared this maybe to Naomi, and I know the print run, they're different, but it was the same type of hype be behind them. You know, I, I remember Naomi ones selling for $125 uh, raw, and I remember, you know, nine eights selling for close to 450 and, and I've seen, you know, $500. I think this is a book that people should just wait on. I think you should wait it out. Uh, don't be part of the FOMO uh, and just wait for the, the prices to die down. Uh, right now, these books are selling from 40 to 50 bucks and CGC's nine eights are just ridiculous, but... I say uh, wait it out, wait till May, uh, at least till August and see where the, this book is, it's at. And, and let's see where Tinian and, and company are taking this character because it. my fear, as with every, every you know, everyone else's fear, and the same thing that happened, I think that if you look up uh, one of the things that Rob Liefeld has always stated and some of the other creators of Marvel, that when they created a character in Marvel and they left the book uh, or they left the company, like in Rob's case, when he created Deadpool, uh, Portacio and, and all these people, you know, Bishop and all this. When these people left these major books, when they had that created character, it's like the next writer uh or the next artist, but more the next writer, doesn't know really what to do with the character. And what they wind up doing with the character is they they wind up sullying the character or they kill him off at the next you know crossover event or the next big event that they might have, uh, thus ruining any type of hype the character had going into the comic universe. Punchline looks like a really cool character. I, I think she's really cool. Uh, but I, I believe that you should wait it out. Uh, I don't think uh, for one second that this book is going to be worth 50 bucks come August. And again, uh, you don't want to be stuck holding the bag. I mean, if you got your copies, great. I mean, if you could get them graded like I'm doing, because this is going toward trying to get uh, obtain one of my personal grails, uh, a book I've never owned before. And if I could you know, sell a, a you know, grade a, a book that cost me cover price and, and I could get a profit off of it. I mean, why not? It's my book. You know, I'm paying for the services, you know, you know, and like I said, the proceeds will go toward that grail that I really want. You know, Amazing Spider-Man 129, Hulk 181. Those are really books that I'm really after or even Iron Fist 14 and, and so on and so forth. Uh, these books don't really have that type of staying power unless Punchline, by the end of the year, winds up killing the Joker and she takes over, the, which, you know, we, we I highly doubt and I believe and no one would really, really believe that. So that's my video for for today. Um, again, hit that subscribe button and I do appreciate you guys uh support and the next video you will see officially will be done this weekend and it'll be with the whole it'll be a video of me recording the whole process of cgc's on-site grading so you will tell me your opinions and i will show you my results as soon as i get my books back on sunday and see if if i'm if i met the grades uh so 414 Comics signing out. Uh, thanks and see you next time.